Distance and open education system is the only approach which can meet the challenge of educational problems. These impactful words by a visionary brought a great revolution in the higher education system of the country. Yes, we are talking about the father of open learning in India, Professor G. Ram Reddy. Professor G. Ram Reddy was born on 4th of December 1929 in the small village of Maila Ram in the Kareem Nagar district of present day Telangana. He believed in the power of education and dedicated his entire life to what he called democratizing higher education. He overcame all the struggles and challenges to become the first from his village to have passed the matriculation examination. In the year 1949, his determination and dedication led him to the prestigious Nizam College at Hyderabad. He went on to complete his Masters in Political Science and in 1957, he left for London to study at the prestigious London School of Economics. When I came back from uh, UK, I should join the private sector. But under the influence of the Labour Party, we felt that we should not serve um, the private sector. Therefore, I joined as a lecturer. And once I joined as a lecturer, there was no other ambition except to continue in the profession. When you are a lecturer, you want to become a reader. When you are a reader, you want to become a professor. All that I must say, I have been able to get that these promotions uh, fairly quickly and rapidly. Um, maybe the society was very generous to me, very kind to me. Upon his return from London as a young postgraduate, he joined Osmania University as a lecturer in 1959. He soon became a popular teacher among his students and was equally appreciated by his colleagues. In the year 1977, he became the Vice Chancellor of the Osmania University and served the university in that capacity for two terms. In the year 1982, this visionary leader gifted the country its first open and distance university the Andhra Pradesh Open University, which was later renamed as Dr. B. R. Ambedkar Open University. After seeing the impact and possibilities of the open and distance learning system in educating the huge population of the country, Professor G. Ram Reddy became the obvious choice of the Government of India in formulating and initiating a national open university. Thus, in the year 1985, the Indira Gandhi National Open University was born under his able leadership. My ambition has been to keep an All India image of this institution. We have consciously brought people from different parts of the country. This, this has been done consciously so that it remains an All India institution, doesn't become a local institution. ICNU was established by an Act of Parliament with the mandate to reach the unreached by offering high-quality, innovative, flexible and need-based educational programs to all the segments of the society and modern technology-enabled educational system. Professor Amredi, with his experience in higher education as a Vice-Chancellor of Usmania University for five years, and associated with many international higher education institutions. He shared the experience of British Open University with the political system in Andhra Pradesh and political system immediately supported the idea. The establishment of Open University in 1982 is a result of two conditions. One is the vision, competence and persuasive abilities and contacts and sincerity of purpose of leader like Professor Ramreddy. Professor G. Ramreddy's efforts 
were recognized and achievements were appreciated both in India and abroad. Professor Ram Reddy was a visionary who spoke of equity and social justice and opening up access to education was his way of addressing the issue of distributive justice and of reaching the unreached. His ideas which uh, actually laid the base of a different dimension of education in this country, the way IGNO has been able to reach by transcending time and boundaries and geography, I believe is extraordinarily impressive. Igno's success story is a testimony to his vision and commitment. Apart from being a renowned architect of distance education in India, he also held many other notable positions and contributed greatly to the higher education system of the country. He served as the chairman of the University Grants Commission from 1990 to 1995 and later became the chairman of the Indian Council of Social Science Research. He also worked as a key person in the establishment of the National Assessment and Accreditation Council, that is NAC, to promote quality assurance in higher education in India. Apart from being a scholar, an educationist and a visionary, he was a liberal man who always advocated for equality and social justice. He was immensely proud of his country and its achievements. He was determined to uplift the status of the masses by making higher education accessible to one and all. This was his way to address the issue of social inequality and injustice. Professor G. Ram Reddy was also an affectionate and a down-to-earth human being who derives pleasure from simple things of life. He was a loving family man, a great friend and a colleague to some, while an excellent teacher and a guide to others. He was witty, fun-loving and had a great sense of humor. He also had a keen interest in Indian culture and literature. He was a noble soul who left an indelible impression on the minds of all those who either came in contact with him or were influenced by his innovative ideas, sense of justice, commitment to his job, dedication and selfless service to the country. We all have to work together to have the flag of Igno high by remembering the great visionary leader, Professor G. Ramaretti.